Here are the ice test results just for giggles. I filled both of these up to the tippy top uh, when I got to work this morning. <laughs> yes, that's glitter in there. So it had this much ice in it at nine o'clock this morning and it is now 9.35 p.m. and the ice is completely melted on both of these. This is the cup that had the hole drilled in it and I was worried about the insulation where it came through right there about the uh, double wall vacuum insulation yada yada being compromised. Um, this one did not have a hole drilled in it. It's the one that has the notch for the wires and they are both completely melted. Neither one of these were primed and cold before I'm um, filling them up and they're equally as cold. So apparently filling that hole where this went in Filling it completely uh, definitely helped kind of salvage it, I guess uh, you could say. I wouldn't say this cup holds drinks as well as some of the others. Just in general, this may be, maybe this design, because that's not vacuumed on the bottom, maybe it's just not capable of holding water, uh, ice like other cups. But that's purely speculation. If I had another cup side by side to do it that had a stainless steel base, maybe that would be an easier um, comparison. But that's that. This one definitely has more epoxy on it because it's pretty much done. This one definitely still needs a lot, so I don't think that that factors in the equation at all. I think our biggest challenge is this right here. So if you use this style of, of tumbler, Maybe just tell your customer that it may not keep their drinks as cold as some other styles might. Yeah, hopefully that is helpful.